What is going on, guys? Welcome to Greggles TV Daily, your source for daily tech news. Make sure you subscribe so you know what's going on in the world of tech. How's everyone doing? It's a brand new week, brand new tech stories. Let's get into it. First story of the day comes out of SID 2017 in Los Angeles from Samsung. They will be, and this sounds like it's going to happen tomorrow from a couple of articles I've read online. Looks like they're going to announce and show off their stretchable display. Now, it's not going to be an actual product that you can buy just yet, but what it will be is a display that you can stretch out as many as 12 millimeters over here in America. It's point, almost 0.5 inches uh, that you can stretch it in multiple directions. Uh, they're going to display it on a 9.1 inch display. So you can't stretch it and pull it and you know that far. If you think about 0.5 inches, it's not a crazy amount, but it's, I guess it's just enough to kind of Get a couple more inches here or there in certain directions so that you can see how the technology works. Obviously, we want to see it to the point where you can pull it out multiple inches so you could have something really small, say like a four inch display. And then if you wanted to turn into a, like a nine inch display, you could do that. But I guess the technology is not ready just for that. So you can only be able to stretch it less than half an inch, but it's still very cool technology. I mean, if you said this 20 years ago, you would have thought the person was crazy. It's Jetson's technology. Jetsons, I say. Next up, a dummy display of the Galaxy Note 8 has leaked out. And a dummy display is what Samsung sends to case manufacturers, accessory manufacturers, so they know how to make their cases so that they fit on the new phone. And the major thing on here, and we've been talking about it for a while now, is the dual lens on the back. It's a vertical, vertical, is that a word? Vertical uh, camera lens on the back. So it's top and bottom rather than uh, side to side, like horizontal, like some cameras are. So it's kind of following that uh, iPhone look for the new iPhone 8, except it's in the middle ra rather than where on the iPhone 8, it's on the top left-hand side. I think this is a fine way to do the vertical camera because it, it looks symmetrical, it looks good, it looks professional, it looks like it was well-designed, whereas on the iPhone, I don't think so much that it looks well-designed in the placement that it is. So that's the biggest thing to take away from this. Also, 6.3 inch display. Um, that's pretty much all we know so far. We don't know what processor is going to be in it or RAM or anything like that. So it's nice to see more and more leaks come out, guys. We're getting to that point where probably by the early to mid summer, probably early summer, we're probably gonna, it's probably going to be the floodgates and it's going to continue and continue just like it did with the Galaxy S8. Next up, if you're a Galaxy Active fan, which is an exclusive phone released to AT&T. It looks like the Galaxy S8 Active has leaked a little bit here, and we've got some kind of major news on the phone. It will not follow the Galaxy S8 and S8 Plus phone uh, in terms of display. It's gonna be a flat display, will not have curved edges, and uh, it's kind of plain looking without that curved display. So if you want a curved display and you want something a little bit more rugged, uh, with the same specs as the Galaxy S8 and S8 Plus, you would want to get the Galaxy S8 Active. Again, it's only available on AT&T, so you won't be lucky enough to buy that on any other carriers here in America or anywhere else in the world. But if you're on that carrier or you're moving to that carrier, you can look forward to getting that device that's a little bit more rugged. But again, no curved display, just a flat display, but with the same specs. Now let's get on to our lightning round and it is our last story of the day. It's about the Nest Cam. Nest Cams are security cameras. Nest is owned by Google. Now to make a long story short, this camera should be out by the end of May. It will be priced more than what their cameras are now, probably be above 300 for sure, maybe at 400 bucks. It's gonna be 4K more or less, but what it does is it zooms in uh, so that it can capture more and more detail of that person, but ultimately it records in 1080p um, and just can, it has the ability to zoom in really, really close. Guys, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. I do new videos every single day. I want to thank my Patreon supporters. We got a new one today, Rudy Angeles. Thank you, brother. Peace. Thank you so much. I've actually added some stuff to my Patreon supporters. So for that $20 a month one, I've actually added a bi-annual giveaway just for those folks. So if you're in that $20 range, I will be doing every six months. It's actually starting June 1st. So June 1st, I will be doing a giveaway for those Patreon supporters that are at the $20 uh, mark. 
the hundred dollar mark i've got one guy in there and whoever's in that is entered for a giveaway so he's literally going to be getting a giveaway every single month good stuff i'm not talking about just cases here when those companies send me stuff i will actually some of that stuff i will give away as giveaways guys so if you want to be on it Check my Patreon. I've got some cool stuff in there, guys, going on right now. It's linked in the description down below. But anyways, thank you, guys. Thank you to all my supporters for that. My question of the day is, what do you think about that camera on the back of the Galaxy Note 8? Do you think it looks good? Do you like that vertical camera? Do you wish it was horizontal? Do you wish it was somewhere else? Let me know in the comments down below. I like it. You heard what I said. I think it looks fantastic. Kind of looks like it. the, Gal the uh, OnePlus 5 uh, dual lens camera. Let me know what you think. My product of the day is listed in the description down below. Thanks for watching, guys. I will see you down the road. Peace. What is up, everybody? If you didn't see yesterday's news video, check it out over there. It's all about tech, and it's all about what you want to know. The video below that is the best home screens. I took all the home screens that you guys sent me, put them in one video, and let you guys vote. Let me know what you think is number one. I think number four is number the best. Let me know what you think. The video, and then next to me, actually, click my head, click subscribe, and you will be part of the family.